Casey Sager, we've all written down. Uh, LeBron, for having swept the first two rounds, you guys have played a lot of very close games. How has Coach Liu impacted this team's ability to finish so strong in the fourth quarter? Uh, it just kept us even keel. Um, and anytime we come to a timeout, either if we're up or down, or if the game is close, or if it's a game of runs and things of that nature, the team is making on us. He's uh, he just, you know, always talking about the next possession. You know, that's not a worry about what happened previous uh, possession or a couple possessions before this, trying to figure out how we can get better. And uh, he's, he keeps us calm in those moments. So it's definitely beneficial for our team. David, David Benjamin, ESPN. LeBron, Joe referenced the last game, but you guys are now 12 0 as a big three in postseason games. And tonight it was Kevin in the third quarter, some of you in the fourth, some of Kyrie throughout. How have you guys been able to figure out the kind of. Uh, be able to coax this with one another at such a high level? <clears throat> well, I mean, I know these guys have been waiting for this opportunity to be in the postseason again after what happened last year, you know, with their injuries. And, uh, you know, so they've been building up towards this, you know, both men mentally and physically. And, uh, and obviously I can't say that I haven't waited for them as well, you know, to get them back to this moment so I can be out there with them. Because um, it's something that we all envisioned when I came back when Kev was traded here and, and obviously Kyle was already here. So, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, we just... You know, we're in a great rhythm right now as far as us three. You know, we know exactly where we want to be on the floor. We know exactly where we are on the floor. Um, and, it's, uh, and it's benefited all of us individually. And now, obviously, it's trickled down to the team. Joe, Joe Varden, Cleveland.com. I have two questions. The first one is for LeBron. Um, I'm wondering, or I'd like you to specifically uh, talk about why you would tap the ball to the corner on that. Just explain it. And then for all three of you, um, this is your second sweep, you know that. In between the first round and the second round, there was no problem with keeping a rhythm. But h how do you how do you maintain that again with another long layoff? Um, well, there's a few different things that went in my head. Um, obviously, with uh, you know two plus seconds left, um, and I was able. First of all, I wanted to switch Tristan and and, uh, and, and Jr. Um, and I explained to you why. Um, I thought about tipping the ball down the court, um, knowing that as soon as you tip the ball, the clock is going to start. And I, I figured I would win the tip over Schroeder, but um, you know, Baysmore, being the athlete that he is, it's kind of hard to gauge tip balls at time. And I didn't want to tip it. He'd jump up in the air and grab it and shoot it. Uh, so I looked, you know, I went to my next um, um, you know, option, and, you know, Kev and JR had made a pocket. To the corner, I felt that uh, Jr. being next to Al Horford, he can beat him um, in foot race to the corner. And uh, once I tipped the ball, Jr. was able to get over there, tip it back in, and uh, I don't even think the shot got off before the before the buzzer, anyways. But um, there's a few things playing in my mind. And that's the one I went with. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, I, I think all three of us can agree we did a great good job. Between the last series sweep um, of staying locked in, and we got a lot of conditioning. We were uh, naturally watching uh, the Atlanta and Boston series, uh, you know, depending on who we we're going to play. Just looking at the different matchups, uh, key matchups, and you know how those teams are coached. Uh, you know what their fourth quarter package is. You know how they run their offense, uh, defensive schemes, and uh, we saw both of those teams last year in the playoffs. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to play after the first round, but. We did a great job of, of staying locked in, sharp on the court. Um, you know, we had our days off. Uh, you know, we even had off the court our team dinners, just uh, you know, staying together as a team in, in every single way. So I felt like, uh, you know, I feel like we're going to do a good job of that this week, being able to stay locked in, and, and for whatever's next, we're going to be ready. Marla Ryden, our Akron Beacon Journal. Kevin, I was just wondering that what sort of got you going there, and. I don't know if it was a defensive thing, the adjustment, you took advantage of her. And how, what did it feel like to burn them? I think it was the same play. LeBron's passed you in the corner. It seemed like the same exact thing three times in a row. Um, you know, I know I mentioned this, I think, almost after every single game, especially when we play well. But it's a product of, a product of us playing well as these guys playing downhill. And they're, they're so devastating and tough to stop when they're doing that. They're, you know, spraying out to the corner. Uh, they draw so much attention in doing so. Uh, they do it in different ways, but uh, in, in doing that, I mean, Channing's going to be open, JR is going to be open, I'm going to be open. There's going to be so many different weapons that we have out on the perimeter, and uh, tonight it happened to be me. Uh, and I found myself open quite a bit, and I got myself into a great rhythm because of these guys in that third quarter. 
you guys look very, very comfortable running this offense the way you are. Is there any reason why you guys can't keep up the three-point shooting? Shooting is coming from our ball movement, and uh, myself and Kyrie's getting down downhill. Uh, we're attracting, you know, a second guy, a third guy at times. Our shooters are just locked in and ready, and it's up to us to get them, put the ball right there in their shooting pocket, and for them to let it go. Um, you know, obviously we had some shots uh, that didn't go in for us tonight, but I think our, you know, we had another 20 plus assist game, and anytime we do that, uh, we put ourselves in position to, to succeed. And uh, we have a low turnover game as well. I think in the first half, or the first quarter, I think we had uh, six turnovers, and then we only ended up with 14. So that has definitely helped us, uh, you know, throughout this playoff run so far. LeBron, right in the middle. Is Evan Powell with Hawksby? I'm wondering, um, can you take us through your thought process on the last play with Schroeder when you were able to um, tie him up? It appeared that you left your man on that play. Um. Well, I mean, I took the long three. I was going for the dagger to put us up four. And uh, I missed it. I knew they had no more timeouts, so they had to come uh, full court. And uh, Schroeder did a great job <clears throat> getting in the paint like he, he's done all season. Uh, but once he went to the pump fake and, uh, and he spun, he uh, lost sight of me. And uh, I was able to get my hand and uh, tie it up. Guys over here, Jonathan Simmons from Real Talk Sports. Kyrie, question for you. Since you obviously were here with Cleveland first, what does it mean to you to be able to second, come out here? Second. Second. Okay, let's get that straight. I was here first. There you go. Then I came back, but don't worry about it. Go ahead. Keep going. Just, just, just a timing thing. I got you. But anyway, uh, bottom line, Kyrie, how does it feel for you now to kind of see kind of what everybody else saw with this big three and now you being healthy and all of you guys being healthy in this playoff series? Um, it's, it's just what I genuinely enjoy about the game of basketball. Um, you know, uh, playing with great guys, and I've always, uh, I've had a few great coaches in my life and played with some great players, but when you have the ability to put a team together that our GM has, and, you know, Brown comes back, Kevin is traded for, and then we all put a team together our first year. We make a great run at it, a few injuries here and there, and then we come into a postseason. This is our second time around, and there's a sense of calmness within our locker room, but also, Reality sets in that, you know, there's there's a bigger task that we're trying to get to and we know that the steps that, that we need to take in order to get to that. So there's no up up too up or too down about celebrating a you know, four and in the first round, four and in the second round. We we know the task at hand what we want to accomplish, but this is uh more than I dreamed of, honestly. Um, but I'm just I just live in the moment and you know, never take a day for granted. Make sure we're constantly staying on each other to be be great every single day. Um, off days or regular practice days. It's just we stay on each other and we know what to expect. And it's just awesome to have teammates like that. Chris Ames, Cleveland.com. Kevin, um, I wanted to ask, a lot of your teammates have said they've seen you kind of break out your shell um, off the court as far as personality. They say you're roasting, you're starting to roast guys now. I want to know if that and getting on and your personality breaking out off the court, has that had any uh, effect on you on the court as far as how you're playing now? Um, I don't know what you guys think. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, I have a, a great relationship with everybody on the team. We are a team that gets along very well. Um, these guys are laughing because they know I've, even before I was here, would, would roast with these guys. So, um, you know, Kyrie's over there laughing. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. Game of Thrones on the I'm trying to get watch that. <laughs> I really don't know how to follow any part of that. Um, I, what I was going to ask is, LeBron, is there anything, is there anything sweeter about a sweep than just a normal closeout or even a, a seventh game win? Or just, how, how do you compare them? Um, I mean, no, I, I, I don't think it's uh, sweeter either. Or I think, uh, I mean, if you're fortunate to win any playoff series, 
I think it's sweet. Uh, no matter if it happens in seven or if it happens in four or five or six. Um, you know, you're fortunate. I mean, it's, it's, what is it, 16 teams out of our 30 in our league that, that starts the postseason. And then if you're able to advance, um, I, I think it's a pretty cool thing. And, uh, you know, for us to be able to advance, uh, you know, for, you know, in the first round, but now in the second round, I think it's, uh, it's pretty sweet no matter when you do it. Uh, Chris Parker, Cleveland team. LeBron, uh, you, you often talk during the season about good habits and developing the habits. I was wondering how you could say those habits helped you in this game. Uh, well, we're going to stay on there every single day as long as we have life. And obviously we have a lot of life right now. So, you know, we have to work our habits every single day, both on the floor uh, and off the floor. And, uh, you know, mentally, physically, and spiritually every single day in order to be professional, in order to be great. And, uh, you know, when you do that, you're able to fall back on times throughout the game uh, when you're not looking so bright. And, uh, it just it's helped us, uh, you know, throughout this whole season, not just the postseason. Uh, this is for Kevin. Obviously, this was a, a close game. What did the Hawks do there in the fourth quarter that, uh, that really brought it down to the wire? I think a lot like us, they still have a good game plan. Um, they're well coached. They have a number of weapons on their team. And, uh, like us, they played with a lot of pace, and, and they were in a good rhythm tonight. So we knew they, they were going to give us their best shot. They were going to punch us in the mouth, give us everything that they had. So, um, you know, it became a, really a two-minute game for us and came down to a couple of possessions where uh, we were able to make plays and got stops when we needed to. So, uh, you know, it was a great series to close out for. Last question, Marla. Marla Rodney, our uh, Akron Week and Journal. Uh, for LeBron or Kyrie, I just since Kevin kind of downplayed what he did, can you? I just wondered if one of you two could just say, you know, he was kind of struggling in the first half, what, you know, what he meant to you tonight. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, well, uh, it was it was kind of great actually the way it, the way it happened. Um, you know, we're coming down a few possessions and the pace just slowly starts to pick up in the third quarter, and we're getting downhill. Myself and Bron, and our, our, aggress our aggressiveness is there, and then we just started to see something that kind of just unraveled uh, with their defense. And I came down and it kind of was in the spur of the moment. I ran a double drag with Kev. And Kev, you know, they didn't, I don't think they could prepare for something like that with myself screening, him screening, and he's popping and I'm rolling. And then we came to the timeout and we discussed it and we just kept going to it worked. And he, he had made a shot in the corner, in the right corner before, and then he gets going like that. I mean, that's just big time, especially in a closeout game, and it, and it felt really good, uh, you know, for all of us. Just as a team, we're coming to the bench, we're feeling good. And our third quarter, right there, it just it put us in a good place. Um, didn't start the fourth particularly well, but if Kev doesn't do that in the third quarter, and we get the lead, and we have some, you know, some daylight, and we, we show flashes, he put us in a great position. So. Congratulations.